Hi friends, welcome back or welcome if you are new. My name is Yureli and today I'm going to be setting up my monthly calendar in my little Franken planner that I did. If you missed that video, I will have it linked. And let's get started because I'm also going to show you how I organize like my social media stuff. I do have two YouTube channels. Um, my budgeting channel is what I kind of consider my main channel. It's the one that I have been consistently active on for Ooh, just about a year my my year my anniversary is coming up in July and then this channel here actually started off as a crafting diamond painting channel and um, since I don't take the time to diamond paint anymore I have converted it into my planner channel maybe once in a while I'll show you something diamond painting -y, but for right now it's just uh, for planning so let's go ahead and get started I'm going to show you how I'm going to organize both channels in here plus everything else um, later we'll get into like decorating a compact vertical layout but for right now we're just going to do the monthly and I'm going to show you how I do my social media okay okay let's go ahead and get going um, I have not decorated this but I did find my stickers so I'm going to decorate that vellum with <laughs> with these stickers um, at some point here we go all right, so yeah, this is my Franken planner, and I'm kind of wishing I would have added another month here just because the coil is a little big, but that is okay. We live and we learn. So here we go in July. I'm gonna set this up using the um, simply gilded box, the one that we just opened most recently, which is Beach Chic. Um, so beautiful. And I'm going to show you how I do this, okay? I basically will take the numbers, obviously, and then I'll take the days of the week. I just need to decide which ones I want to choose. Ooh, maybe I'll use the striped pink ones and I will layer it on top of this one. All right. I'll speed up through this portion but before I do that I'm going to show you what I do first okay um, in order for these days of the week covers to fit on an a5 you do have to trim the sides down a little bit so usually what I do is I take a ruler and I take an exacto type knife and um, usually I've only done it on these top ones here so it's really easy right you just line it up here like this and then trim that and then do the same on the other side line it up and then trim the edges so that when you peel it up um, your days of the week are narrower but since I'm going to use these ones um, these striped ones I'm gonna have to <laughs> it's gonna take me a little bit longer so that's what I'm gonna be doing that's what you're gonna see me do is just trimming um, a little bit from the sides off so that they fit here in my a5 but what i am noticing right now is that these ones down here have little bows and even if i trim off a little bit it's not gonna fit within there so i'm not gonna use that i think i'm just gonna use pink or blue pink or blue pink or blue i don't know i don't want to use the white i know that maybe i do want to use the white let's use the white all right.
have these beautiful script stickers from Lupita Sticky Shop. And I'm going to use one right here. There we go. Super cute. I wish I would have used a <laughs> different color here, but I already set those down. I'm not going to waste them. I'm just going to leave them like that. I only white. I did white out on the very top because that top washi that I used is very, very translucent. And since it's not very busy as far as the design, I didn't want the flora peeking through. I didn't white out all the way because this next washi does have a lot of designs and it's okay. Like you can kind of see flora peeking through, but it's not too distracting because the washi itself is pretty busy. I just put down the date dog covers and then as far as special dates, um, our anniversary is in July, so that's exciting. So that is it for this part for now. Now, I like to keep it real over here and be, you know, pretty transparent as to my planning style and the things that I use and how I am not planning this or make trying to make this look perfect for anything and I do because I because I have chosen to share this on YouTube I want to make it look as cute as I can but this is not my original copy <laughs> okay and I say this over on my budgeting channel too in order for my budget planner to look cute on my budget channel I have several rough drafts and that is the same here for this okay I am going to be using this as my social media like month out of view so I can see on a calendar view what videos are going up when in order for me to do that I have to have a rough draft right so this is my rough draft this is what it looks like this here is a notebook that I have snipped and inserted uh, a monthly calendar in, right? It's just a basic Erin Condra notebook. I love these things. My favorite thing are the Erin Condra notebooks. So this is what it looks like, okay? And just basic, ooh, you guys saw a little sneak peek. <laughs> Let's do this. Um, basic color coding, right? Orange sticky notes are for my budgeting channel. Pink sticky notes are for this channel. So that is how I have it set up. Um, on here and that's kind of what I want to do here but for now I just have it on here until I figure out how I want to do it here all right so that is how I just pre-organized myself let's let's just do this um I think I'm gonna move my my cash stuffing videos over to Friday so if I do that oh I don't know Okay, let's do this. I want to put out my compact verticals on Sunday, right? So let's just do this just for a little visual. A visual, yeah. So let's do that, okay. On the next page here, you'll see that I've already put in some lines here. This page here is I'm going to be using it for my budget channel. And let me just show you a little bit of what I've done here. I each one of these spaces here is about one centimeter wide. And these are basically what I do um, to do a video. I've already planned them out. As you saw, I have my sticky notes all over. I've already planned them out, so I don't need an extra line here for planning it out. Right, I already have that. I already know which videos are going to go up. So then I'll take my information from this view here and do like, okay, my first cash stuffing. And I need to film it. I need to edit. I need to upload it. I need to fill in all of the details. I need to schedule it. Um, I need to create a thumbnail. And this is where I, <laughs> I lack. I don't promote my videos anywhere. I just put them up. Um, I just, I don't know why I don't, but maybe if I have it here, maybe I'll do it. We'll see. I don't know. I just feel like I'm bugging. Like, all right, if you want to see me, you're already subscribed to my channel. Or if you're on Instagram, maybe you're only on Instagram and you don't want to see me posting about my channel. I don't know. So, <laughs> so that is how I have it here. Okay. That is how I schedule out my social media. Cause sometimes like today, Saturday, I am bulk recording for both channels. That way, like, if I've already filmed one of the videos, whatever, I, I have it written down here and I've already checked it off, like, okay, that, that one is filmed, I just need to edit and upload and do the rest of it, right? So that is what I'm doing here. 
I don't know exactly how I'm gonna use these little squares. Like I said, I, I like both channels. I like having a schedule. I like putting up videos, but I said that I don't take them too seriously and that's kind of a lie because as you see, I do think about my content way beforehand. I, I want to schedule it out. I want to have a view as to what my plan is way beforehand. So I do kind of take it seriously. But as far as like keeping track of my views, my watch hours, um, my uh, the rest of the analytics, right? Um, engagement, um, retention time, all of that, reach, all of that kind of stuff. Like I don't really keep track of it because I don't understand it maybe I don't know but maybe if I did I could use um this here for that but I don't <laughs> so I still don't know what I'm gonna do here I am considering just taking a blank note page and gluing it on here for an extra lined page I don't know just for notes or whatever that is an idea if if that's what you want I did I do have the sticky note here because like I said in July it's my one year channel anniversary for my budget channel so I'm going to be doing a collab with somebody. I'm not going to say who yet, but there's that, okay? So that's how I do my social media. And then back here, before my daily duo starts, I have the same thing going on. I haven't written out my little titles, but I will. And this one here is for my planner channel. And um, even though I've just started uploading planner videos this year, this channel is actually going to be two years old in July, which is crazy that I've been on YouTube for two years. Um, it's been so much fun. I really do enjoy doing this. So that is how I do my social media here. Um, just for the sake of time, that is it for today's video. Um, I hope that kind of helped. As I start filling this in, of course, I will show it to you guys. Um, nothing to hide over here. <laughs> I, do, I don't mind sharing. Um, and I mean, I shared my ugly notebook with you. <laughs> so there's there's no planner thing that I will not share with you guys. I still don't know how I'm decorating this. Um, I'll probably just stick to my Simply Gilded stuff just because I'm really enjoying that right now. That's kind of the phase that I'm in right now. So I'll probably just do that for here for now. And I just kind of wrote down on the sticky note, maybe what I can kind of keep track of here. Um, so some ideas I have just like for the week so I can see which videos are going up. Because sometimes I forget like, oh, I had a video go up, <laughs> you know, or I just I need to make sure that that's scheduled or whatever, you know, so that I might do that. Um, I can do meal planning, but you guys, I suck at sticking to a meal plan. I really, really do. It's hard. It's hard. I work outside the home. My husband works four tens. Um, he leaves before I do. He comes home after I do. Uh, we have a baby and it's just a sticking to a meal plan is hard right now. Um, I could do appointments. I could do, um, you know, which day my baby goes to childcare, which day he goes to grandma's house. I can write down my spending here. Um, just, you know, there's just different ideas. I still don't know exactly how I want to use this. I love this layout. And maybe for the first little while, it's going to be crazy over here <laughs> until I figure out exactly how I want to use this. But for right now, I wrote down some ideas that would work for me and what I want to keep track of. Um, so there's that. And then starting July, I'm so excited to get into this. Um, this is m mostly going to be like daily to-do list um, for home, for work, for YouTube, for all of the things. So there is that. Um, that's it. That is where I am right now. I hope you guys enjoyed. They got some kind of value out of it. I really love how this looks. It's so cute. And mainly I wanted to show you guys how I use, how I plan for my social media. Um, eventually I will put all of my sticky notes over here or just write it out over here. But um that is how I organize myself to make sure that I do the things because it can be a lot. <laughs> it can be a lot. All right. Thank you guys so much for spending time with me today. I hope you guys are all doing well and I hope you guys are ready for July and for your new planners. I'm so excited for all of us. <laughs> um, I, I will see you guys next time. Bye.